Friends, welcome to another episode of Auto Afflicted. Today, I'm going to show you how I got these Brabuses from crusty Russian imported wheels to some amazing what you see here, shining gems, practically worth their weight in gold. We're going to run through taking them apart, taking them to the powder coater, buffing the lips out to the finish that you see here, putting them back together, taping them and caulking them. At the very end, I'll show you what they look like on the car. So now, we're gonna go back in time to when I was dressed as Rocky Balboa in Rocky One in my backyard before the shop appeared, pulling these things apart. Let's get into it. So I'm just working on taking these Brabus monoblocks apart now. I had gotten these wheels on eBay. They came out of Russia before the war broke out, really. And they were a little bit rough, as you can see, but I did check them to see that they were nice and round, were true, and then I mounted tires on them, made sure they were airtight, and now I'm taking them apart so I can restore them. So I'm marking these with a little steel alphabet and number set that you can find at like a hobby shop craft store or Amazon. So because of the importance of keeping the pieces together and putting them back together in the correct ways, I've marked each barrel and face and lip with a number one, two, A or B. So on the inside here, done the same thing. Number two, and that way these pieces are gonna go back together in the same place that they came apart and with the same lips and barrels and then that way you don't have issues with sealing and all of that you want to get in the back here and get some heat or some penetrant on these you can see how it's pretty um, corroded the last ones came apart really easy so i'm not even going to bother with any of that i'm just going to start pulling these apart so i got some 12 point stuff here um, there's different sizes in here just want to make sure they're on nice and snug, especially if they're a little corroded like they are. You know, make sure you get them all the way on so that way you don't risk stripping this stuff out. So now that I get all the hardware out of here, front and back, I'm going to go ahead and whack it a little bit with the hammer to get the face off. I'm going to use a piece of wood, so I'm going to be gentle, really probably have a heavier hammer than this, but uh, I think this will work. And there we go. Little brute force. And the face is off. What I'm ultimately going to do is take these faces over to Utah Powder Works. They're gonna do like an acid dip or something and clean it up, get rid of all the corrosion that's on these guys and then respray um, factory like this. So it's gonna be nice quality, hard finish. Still gotta separate the lip from the barrel. When it comes to this caulk bead here, just cut this kind of from this side and from that side. Oh, just for reference, I'm gonna go from the valve Don't have to get too crazy. Just go all the way in there. Just want to make sure you have a long blade because it's a pretty deep crevasse that you want to cut into. There, I'm all the way around. I'm gonna go from this side. There we go. Now it's time to separate these. If they don't come right off, like these ones aren't coming right apart, then um, you could maybe use like a thin flathead screwdriver and be gentle. You could probably also use um, some sort of automotive bodywork plastic levers. When you knock it in there, you don't want to pry it around because um, you can damage you know, the interface there. That's just going to leave you more work to do, more sanding. I'm just going to take it easy, right? 
but you do need to get in there. Right there, I'm in. And you can hear it sounds a little different now. So now I'm just gonna be extra gentle. And there we go. Easy, right? So now we're gonna go through, clean up all the silicone off the lips and the barrels, um, fix any little imperfections that I may have created. I was pretty gentle. The lips we're gonna strip with um, some stripper, get the clear coat off, cause it's just clear coat and some oxidation on those. Should be able to bring those right back to a nice high polish um, with some aluminum polish. So that's what's next. Working on the lips, gonna polish the lips over here. Alex is already up on it. I had the clear actually stripped off of these by Brad over at uh, Utah Powder Works. He's the one that did the barrels and the faces. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna take the bad ones over to the bench and start working on those while Alex is just working on the chill ones. All right, so we've run pretty much the grit scale, uh, 220, 300, 420, 600, 3000 wet pad. And um, now we're basically, we're into some buffing, but so you can see here, this is running the full grit scale and then um, Actually, there is steel wool on here right before the 3000. And then this is basically where we're headed. So this has been polished with, um, with this guy and some mothers, and then came back with this dry back here. And we got this kind of mirror looking finish. This is the worst of all of the lips. It's had some, some damage and some crazy buffing pre-buffing on it. Um, the rest of them look really good, but that's basically where we're headed. So, you know, you just take your time, keep it even. I was doing uh, basically like 15 passes on each section as I was doing the, you know, sanding all around. You just keep it moving from the, I like to start from the valve hole. Just keep going around. Now we're gonna buff. Always remember to turn your hood for safety. We did one pass with a pad covered in mothers and then a second pass with a dry pad, then wiped down by hand, of course. This was the result. Get in there. The final step before reassembly, a nut and bolt party, buffing out all the hardware. Takes at least an hour quick product test of the new wheel rig and now it's time for final assembly all right so we got everything staged up we've run uh, a few of the face bolts into the wheels and snugged them so that we can get them up on the rig if you need a rig like this you know hit the thrift store or you know, you can always Venmo me 600 bucks. I can make one pretty quick. These are through bolts. Uh, so it's actually um, bolt and nut combination. And then on the back side, we've got uh, just kind of a stud set up. We indexed every titanium bolt in a certain way that I'll show you. Um, you could call it OCD. I call it attention to detail. These face bolts we did torque in a start. Torque spec is 18 foot pounds, which comes out to about 220 inch pounds. If you have specific hardware, you know, double check the manufacturer's spec on that. But our little torque wrench here, this one only goes to 210. So I'm gonna turn it to 11 and then we can just run these things tight. As you saw, kind of the easiest way is get all your bolts going, 
then go face down, barrels up, go to town on it. That's really the easiest way. You know, do it on something, don't hurt your back. You know, safety first. All right, so it's time to play Clockmaster General on the rims. We taped them. Uh, these wheels don't have um, a difficult area that you really have to be concerned with. It's a pretty tight little channel, so it goes easy. Um, did go with the Supreme Silicone. $3,000, had to go to New York and wait in front of the store for Supreme Silicone, but it's gonna be worth it. You can get the regular stuff at Home Depot or something. You know, caulk gun, this one's so beat up, it's actually driving me crazy, but a good caulk gun, it'll do you right. Um, and then, you know, you get it on your skateboard rig or your, your roller rig or whatever, you could do it on the floor if that's your vibe, and you just give some juice in there once it starts flowing nice, just keep it nice and consistent and just run it along there. You don't want to have any gaps, but if you get a little gap while it's still wet, you could just come back and push through it. Notice how I'm pushing the tip, not drawing the tip away. If you draw the tip away this way, it's going to look like shit. Slow and steady only goes fast as your goop is coming out basically and then you rotate finishing touches if you buy real Brabus center caps more power to you but for 300 something bucks I'm gonna go with the $30 knockoffs for now that's just my prerogative See. Brabus referencing with the Brabus. Oh, so satisfying. And then the ring goes in the back there. <laughs> So there you go friends, that's how we refinish wheels. If you got some wheels and you're within the Intermountain West, you need them redone, come check us out. We can do it, as you can see, do top notch, attention to detail. We can get you new lips, we can take them all the way down to the machine shop and get them totally refinished. The world is your oyster, sure, sure. The world is your oyster. So till next time friends. You know, keep your rims shiny, and we'll catch you on the next one.